If you don't know, Gina Carano filed a lawsuit against the Walt Disney Company and Lucasfilm accusing them of wrongful termination and sex discrimination. Within that lawsuit, the acolyte showrunner Leslie Headland is named, and she is accused of being part of a group of employees that were harassing Gina Carano while she was still employed on The Mandalorian. And she was actually scheduled to participate in a struggle session that was going to be led by Kathleen Kennedy, Lucasfilm's president. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at The Trent Report. Let's get into this over here. So in Carano's newly filed lawsuit against the Walt Disney Company and Lucasfilm, her lawyer details how she was the victim of harassment. It specifically details that after she put the words beep, bop, and boop in her Twitter bio, she was, quote, subjected to long phone calls, demanding an explanation, and criticizing her for not embracing what some see as mandatory solitary with a vocal element of the transgender activist community. The lawsuit also details she was, quote, required to meet with representatives of GLAD, the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Discrimination, a national organization that promotes LGBTQ plus acceptance, something she willingly did. Uh, I don't think that they do that. I think that GLAD is an activist organization that demands totalitarian allegiance to its ideology. But obviously, being a lawsuit uh, in California, probably uh, uh, just trying to butter up the uh, judges there rather than exposing them for what they really are. After allegedly receiving positive feedback, the Walt Disney Company and Lucasfilm were not satisfied and, quote, continued to demand a public apology. Defendants went so far as to try and convince Chrono's publicist to force Chrono to issue a statement admitting to mocking or insulting an entire group of people, which Chrono had never done. The Walt Disney Company and Lucasfilm also, quote, rejected Chrono's proposed alternate statement. From there, the lawsuit says Chrono went to donate to a GoFundMe page allegedly set up in support of the transgender community. When she opened the link, she read that the fund was supposedly created by a Lucasfilm creative and was directly targeting Carano, defaming her by accusing her of being a, quote, bigoted actress. Accordingly, Carano did not donate. The lawsuit then uh, alleges Carano brought this to Lucasfilm's attention, who denied the GoFundMe account was established by any Lucasfilm employee. Shortly thereafter, the account was changed to call Carano ignorant and the identity of the organizer was changed to no longer identify a Lucasfilm employee. It then reveals that Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy wanted Carano to join a struggle session on Zoom with her and 45 other employees, quote, who identify as part of the LGBTQ plus community, end quote. The purpose of this struggle session, according to the lawsuit, was a litmus test to determine if she had the willingness to endure such harassment and humiliation. The group was described by her publicist as quote, a friendly group that want Gina to succeed. However, uh, multiple of the employees that were multiple employees that were to take part in the struggle session had contributed to the GoFundMe campaign, including Leslie Headland. The lawsuit states several had contributed to the anti corano GoFundMe account, including filmmaker Leslie Headland, who was scheduled to produce a Star Wars production. So it's very clear that Leslie Headland contributed to this GoFundMe campaign that was intended to harass Gina Carano, or it was an anti-Gina Carano GoFundMe campaign. And she was scheduled to take part in the struggle session that was going to be led by Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy. That is all according to the lawsuit. So much of this is not new. Gina shared a lot of these details to Ben Shapiro back in February 2021. She obviously talked about the pronoun usage, the beep, bop, boop, how um, the Walt Disney Company and Lucasfilm set her up with their uh, transgender activists, uh, which we now know were GLAD representatives. And uh, she also talked about the struggle session, uh, I think right here. Uh, so she's talking about the apology right here. She says, we went through this very this very really long thing where it was like back and forth, back and forth. They wanted me to say this. I felt like it was ingenuine. I wrote out this massive thing that, but they didn't want that. They didn't want that. They, I think they thought I was already uh, taking too much attention off of the Mandalorian, which is not my intention because I know how everybody, how hard everybody works on it. We got down uh, to the statement within like two words, almost like two words, this ridiculous thing. And they just said it was not apologetic enough. It was shocking. I want to communicate. She then revealed uh, the GoFundMe campaign. She says, all these Lucasfilm employees are railing me on their websites. One of them, creative director, had a GoFundMe. And in the GoFundMe bio, it was like, this is because our ignorant actress. So they wanted me to get on the phone with like 40 of their LGBTQ community, not on the phone on Zoom. 
And I felt like all these people, all your employees are slandering the hell out of me right now. You think I want to get on a video where they can then film it? I felt very kind of insecure about that. So what I offered them was the restaurants at the time had started opening back up. And I was like, let me take four or five of them out to dinner and it'd be person to person. You can look me in my eyes. I can look you in your eyes and let's have a genuine conversation. She then went back to the phone call or the Zoom call, the struggle session and said, I think it's also a bit abusive that you want me to talk to 40 people and hear 40 people that have been slandering me. And maybe not all of them have been slandering me, but a lot of them probably had. And it was just like, wait, I don't feel like I really deserve this. Don't you guys see what's happening online? It's all these bots. It's not even faces. It's not real people. I don't know who these people are, children or just bots or whoever the hell these people are. They're just awful. So again, she had detailed much of this in this interview with Ben Shapiro, but now we're finding out more details, uh, specifically that Leslie Hedlin was contributing to this anti-Gina Carano GoFundMe, and she was to take part in the struggle session against Gina Carano being led by Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy. That's also something we didn't know, that Kathleen Kennedy was the one who was going to be leading the struggle session. So a lot of things are coming out, uh, a lot of... Uh, nasty, dark, evil things are coming out of the closet of Lucasfilm and Gina Carano is exposing them. Uh, I think this is absolutely terrible news for the Walt Disney Company and Lucasfilm. I think she's really going to share. It, it's it's good news for us to see how evil this corporation is. If you didn't realize it already, I think it's going to wake up even more people to see how just deeply disturbing, disgusting, degenerate, and evil the company truly is. And they reward these evil people. Leslie Hedlund clearly was rewarded with doing the Acolyte. Unclear why she was even given that project. Uh, clearly, it does seem to indicate that uh, she is one of Kathleen Kennedy's Acolytes. And that's potentially why she received that promotion, uh, given the fact that she doesn't really have uh, any kind of bona fides. She's clearly not a fan of Star Wars, despite claiming uh, that she grew up playing the RPGs and all of those things, but she couldn't even name her favorite film, which is just utterly ridiculous. Any Star Wars fan can name their favorite film. Um, and if they can't name their favorite film, they at least have it narrowed down to like one or two. And they could say like, oh, well, it depends on, on what's going in through my life. Maybe this film really kind of uh, appeals to me as I'm going through this part of my life. And then this one appealed to me later on in life, et cetera, et cetera. You usually can pick a favorite Star Wars film. So I don't think Leslie Hayden was really qualified for the position. And it was clearly seems to, to me indicate she was given given it now that we're finding out probably one of the reasons she was given it was because she is one of Kathleen Kennedy's flunkies. Uh, but uh, good for Gina Carano for exposing this stuff. Can't wait to dig more, deeper into the lawsuit to find out what else she is accusing Lucasfilm and the Walt Disney Company of doing. So stay tuned to the Trent Report here because we are definitely going to be covering this story as it evolves. But let me know what you guys make of this accusation against Leslie Hedlund in the comments below. Let me know. Uh, and remember to always be charitable, but to always speak the truth.